Hi guys, this is B here. I just wanted to share some happy mail with you that I received yesterday from Shelly. Um, her YouTube channel is Kidney Scrapper. And this is the thank you card she sent me. I think it's really cool with the use of the washi tape. And she wrote me a really nice note on the inside. I was the second place winner in her challenge giveaway that she was having so she sent me a few scrappy items she sent me this Ziploc bag with all different kinds of chipboard pieces in it it's got this uh, chipboard little bird and there are six there are six birds here so I can alter them and make this cute little album and then there's a whole bunch of circles with like little flowers on the inside some solid circles and some frames some squares here's like a little shield some arrows this cute little lady and then here's a crown She sent me this really cool Rick Rack that I think is made of cotton. So I'm going to try using my Perfect Pearls and uh, coloring it different colors. And then the last thing in that little bag is she sent me some chipboard numbers, which I think are really cool that I can play around with and alter. Then she sent me two of these. They are by Petaloo. They're embellishment to inspire your create embellishments to inspire your creativity. It is add peel and stick flowers to finish. So you have the potted plant here, and then you add your own flowers on it, and that's kind of what it looks like here on the back. And I got one in pink. And also one in green. I have no Petty Lou um, products in my stash, so I'm really excited to try them out. And another new thing for me are these uh, Webster pages. She sent me two um, six by six pa pattern papers. This one is called the Park Drive Collection, and here's what they look like. I really like that bird one. That's kind of cool. And then the flowers one here. And then the other one she sent me was um, Once once Upon a Halloween. And I love this owl one. I think that's really cool. So she sent me this. And again, this is something new. I've never had um, used any Webster's pages. And she also sent me these Webster pages layered transparencies and I actually just saw a video posted by Meg and Elizabeth um, on Above Ruby Studios on how to use these on cards so I'm like super excited that I I can actually try out that technique and then here's some fabulous uh, fabric fault God I can't talk today fabric flowers florets also by Webster's pages so those are really pretty then she gave me um, some baby blue ribbon this one has eyeless and this one is just a uh, straight um, doo -doo 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 -doo, three millimeter ribbon and this one is also um, five millimeter and then I got some American Craft Ribbon from her. I got this red stripe. This cute pennant one. This green one with hearts on it and flowers. This one that says sweet and it has strawberries on it. This one that says sunny day, sweet sunny day and all different colors and then this last one is a 
like a peachy color with pink polka dots. So she sent me some ribbon. And then this is by Webster's Pages and it's called Bloomers. It's trim come together for a beautiful combination. One yard of premium trim. And that, lo it looks like rosette pattern. And it's called Warm Green is the color. So that's really pretty. She sent me this stamp. And it says, many people will walk in and out of your life, but only true friends will leave footprints in your heart. Eleanor Roosevelt. And it's by Hampton Art. And I just think that is such a wonderful saying because it's very true. Many people will walk in and out of your life, but only true friends leave the footprints in your heart. And then she sent me this cute Merry Christmas one. And then she sent me this pennant stamp set by Inka Dinka Do. And it's all the alphabets and then it's got numbers. And then it's got like a little asterisk, a star, a heart, a sunburst, a solid pennant, and then a clear pennant. So she sent me this pennant stamp set. She sent me this also by Webster's Pages. It's called Dazzle Me Gems. So that's really cool. Lots of bling. I got this bag of felt, um, not felt, foam hearts. All different shapes of foam hearts. Some say be mine, and just all different shapes, colors. Here's some glittery ones, and that. So lots of ideas I can use with them. This Mayan road gray and pink felt um, flowers. And then I got this bag of all different kinds of images of butterflies, some flourishes. Um, there's a bumblebee in here, I've seen it. But these are really pretty. They're like, you know, here's, a, here's one of the flourishes. Here so you can see it. And look at these butterflies, aren't they just gorgeous? Look at that one. Isn't that just, just absolutely beautiful? And then there's, here's another, another flourish. Another butterfly. And then there's just a, there's a big dragonfly in here. Oh, and there, here's what I wanted to show you. Gotta find it. Look at this. Cute little bee. Look at that. Cute, cute. Look at that cute little bee. Sorry, I love bees. <laughs> so she sent me that. And she sent me this little bag, which I think is really cute. And then inside of it is a bunch of little trinkets. There's some little clips. A couple domino pieces. Um, this looks like a cherry or could be a strawberry. Some grapes. Some pineapples. So she sent me a bag of little bobbles and domino pieces. And the last thing she sent me was this bag here. And there's buttons, there's little paper clips, there's some acrylic plates, um, there's brads and eyelets, and these super cute little hangers. There's some gears. So she sent me this cute little bag of trinkets that I can play around with because a lot of these things I don't even have in my um, collection. So it gives me some ideas to do different projects. So that was everything that Sherry had sent me um, as being the second place winner in her contest. So thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a comment. I hope you all have a great Tuesday and I will talk to you again soon. Bye!